Welcome back to the Infected episode 4. We have a lot to do so let's get right into it. These were the two iron ignits I needed to finish the brick forward. I'm so glad it's finally done, it looks so good and I filled it with stone to turn to iron fragments. At this point I was worried about how much water I had left. I spotted a bird which I really needed because I needed feathers for winter coats and snow pants. I gathered a lot of logs to turn into planks for the greenhouse and I also wanted to make a second floor for the house. I was constantly replacing the stones to get more and more iron fragments and constantly refueling the brick forge as well. I decided instead of making a second floor, I would make a huge wooden fence around my base. All I needed was a lot of logs and a lot of rope. I made about 15 more arrows with all the feathers I collected from the birds. I discovered a take all button on the right, which was actually really handy and I'm really glad I found that. I tried going to sleep to sleep through the snow blizzard but was woken up by a horde event. At this point, horde events were annoying and I was just more interested in my brick forge and building things. I got some iron ignits back, but most importantly, I got some copper ones, which I really needed to finish the greenhouse. Mined a lot of rocks to turn into iron and sand. I figured out it was this type of rock you would mine to get clay. I had collected a lot of rocks and was on my way home. The one good thing about having a frozen lake is you can just go over it. I put down a second brick forge as they take up less room than the stone forges and use a lot less fuel. I had the bright idea of putting a sink in when I saw it in the placeables. The only problem, which I didn't know at the time, is you need something called a water house to supply water to the sink. And I don't have the tech for that yet, so I can't use the sink yet. I turned all my stone into sand so I could then turn it into glass in the brick forge. I needed 28 glass and one rock was 10 sand and 10 sand came out as one glass. So I needed a lot of rocks. Luckily, I had a lot. I was on my way to the cave to mine some copper ore when I spotted a deer in the middle of the frozen lake. I shot it four times before the deer finally fell to the ground. I really needed food so I decided to take it back home. Bones and animal hide couldn't hurt either. I was on my way to the cave again, I finally got there. I explored the whole cave, mining as many rocks as I could, but I soon found out you can't mine copper ore. I could only get lead ore, coal ore, and sometimes iron ore in this cave. I was so disappointed on the brink of death I headed home. When I got home, I finally had enough glass to finish off the glass part of the greenhouse. I still needed 8 copper ignits. I had 4, so 4 more to go. I found out you needed a mineral extractor to be able to mine copper ore, so I moved the mineral extractor to the cave, which was easy, sort of, but very dangerous. This footage is also sped up by 200%, so it took a while to actually get there. So I put the mineral extractor down, I turned on the power, and then left to come back in 15 minutes, because this was going to take a while. I came across something called a clay soil extractor. I really wanted to build this as this would be very helpful. It needs 18 iron ingots again, 8 planks, 8 nails, and 20 screws. Well, I couldn't have said that better myself. I got to work on the fence I really wanted to build. It took ages just to get the ghost down. This footage is sped up by 600% getting down about half of the amount that I wanted. I went back into the house to do something else. I got an unexpected follow from a returning viewer on my live stream. I saw another bird so out comes the bow. Go like and subscribe if you really enjoy the video so far. 
At this point, I was kind of wondering why birds didn't give you anything except feathers though. I got working on my massive fence. Again, this footage is sped up a lot. This took a very long time to do. Big mistake. I saw a bird sitting in the middle of a frozen lake like it was just waiting there for me. This footage was sped up by 1200%. It took so long to do. I also added in some gates, which I won't be able to build for a while because of the materials they need. I finally finished the whole entire fence. I didn't notice at the time, but the ground looks different here, doesn't it? I headed back to the cave to see how the copper was doing. Three copper ores was great, but I still needed one more. Nice, okay. I just needed to smelt those three and get one more. By this point, I almost felt like I had become a pro archer in this game. Spotting birds that were barely visible, sniping them from such far distances, Taking them down while moving. But as you will come to see later, I would get humbled very hard. Wait, what? Winter's over? Yeah! I had just realized winter was over. Winter sucked. I really didn't like it. I felt so restricted. I put away my winter coat and was so happy. Ah, oh, didn't see me. Another one bites a dust. This almost felt too easy at this point. I went back to the cave to check on the mineral extractor to see if there was any more copper ore. And there was, the one piece I needed to finish the greenhouse was there. I was completely out of water, but I had a plan that might work. My plan was to go into the lake and to press E to see if it would pop up to see if I could add water. And I can. I was so happy. Another bird fell to my prey. I hope I don't jinx myself, but I'm not going to need any birds for a while. I went to the stone forge to see if it was done. Yes, the one copper ignit I needed. I ran outside, ready to finish the greenhouse. Okay, ready? Let's get like a nice invasive thing. Okay. Whoa, this was so amazing. The best part is my crops wouldn't die in the winter. And once I got a water house, it would automatically water them. I moved all of my plant beds inside. After moving all my plant beds inside, it showed me just how much room this greenhouse really had. It could hold a lot more plant beds. I grabbed all the seeds I had in my food container and planted them all with seeds to spare. I moved my water basins to outside the greenhouse. The reason they need to be outside is so they can catch rain. Then proceeded to water all my plant beds as I do not have a water house yet, but really do want to get one. Maybe we'll go get some more tech in the next episode and look at some other villagers. This chicken man is taunting me, where is it? This chicken made me run around for ages and ages trying to catch it, trying to kill it. It was so difficult. I finally was humbled as an archer. I'll definitely be doing more next episode. I wasn't able to do much because of winter. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't seen the other episodes, go check them out. And I live stream as well if you want to see this live. See you next episode.